Hi, my name's Jade, and this is How to App on iOS, and I hope you're all doing okay, because today we're taking a look at GSDSP Quantum Filter, and it's filterific. Let's oge! So GSDSP continue their winning formula with their quantum series of apps, this time with Quantum Filter. And the description says, Resonant analog modeled filters experience the warmth and precision of high quality state of the art filters. No cramping, no glitching, no digital artifacts, just rich tones and powerful resonance. Extreme settings can even push the filters into self-oscillation, just like the legendary hardware. It is $9.99 USD on the App Store. And if we scroll down the bottom here, you can see they have a massive selection of apps here from uh, Quantum Distortion, Quantum Delay, um, MMMMM, which is another cool app, which is absolutely free. It is uh, pretty much their modulation system. You've got Magic Fusion, Magic Pitch, Magic Blur, and Magic Delay. But this app is also available on Windows and Mac. So let's take a look at that. So here we are on gs-dsp.com, their official website. I've clicked on the products button here and you can see here it is, Quantum Filter. Desktop, it is $19.99 iOS 9.99. You can get these in bundles as well. So you've got both iOS and the desktop prices for all of their apps here. Let's dive in a little closer. And here we are on the product page you can buy from here. If we scroll down, it features 11 filter types, flexible routing, built for modulation, stereo and dual mono configuration, advanced modulation capabilities and multiple outputs. Oh yeah, let's have a demo of it right now. Okay, so let's take a look at how this thing works. I'm going to open this up in AUM. I've got a copy of Harmony Bloom sending data into Aparillo using one of the presets from DMT Somatics that we looked at earlier this week. I've got Quantum Filter here and I've got TB Barricade running as a limiter just in case because we're working with resonances. So you want to be careful about squelching and stuff like that. So let's hit play and then we'll introduce Quantum Filter. Let's turn it on. Alright, let's run through what's happening here. So, now if you've used any of GSDSP's uh, apps of the Quantum series, this will look very familiar to you, yeah? Especially down the bottom here with the modulation system. It's their patented system. It, uh, all, all the settings across the top as well are pretty much the same. If we head over to the left here, there's a little hamburger menu. This will let us import and export our presets or delete a current preset. We can lock levels over here. So you see, if I come over in here and lock this dry wet, we've put a lock on over here. We can turn this off here as well. Also, you can manage tool tips from here. And you can see down the bottom, there's just here, there's tool tips and they'll help you all the way through. You can disable those as well. Lots of different languages if you are speaking a different language. So 
That's really helpful. I wish more apps did this. You can change the background brightness. There's a built-in limiter also you can enable and disable. So again, but nice to be safe. Resonances, man, they, they'll mess with your brain. <laughs> Here's where you can turn off the tool tips as well, the little question mark. So that's off now. But if we turn it back on, we'll leave it on for this demo. And when you hold over something and click on it, you'll get down here this little explanation, yeah? So frequency adjust the, uh, what would that say? <laughs> frequency adjust the frequency in hertz. Down here, same thing. Resonance amplifies frequencies around the filters, frequency point. So you'll get all of your descriptions down there. Super helpful. We have an A and B that you can go between presets. Yeah, so you can see we've got a different a default here. I could go in and choose a different preset. Let's go and choose something like... Uh... So now we can bounce between this A and B at our own leisure. So these apps are really fantastic for sound sculpting. You know, that's what they, they are perfect for. Click over here. You can go to your presets. You've got all of these presets in here and there's a massive load of them for you to mess around with and get started. Anything you save will end up over here in your user presets. We can add a brand new preset. When you do so, it creates a new name for you. You hit tick or you rename it. It's totally up to you. I'll just hit X for now. Um, so you can go and save your own presets easily that way. We have randomization features. Now these randomization features are, are pretty much standard in all of the quantum apps. So you've got light randomization. We'll go over to this B. Let's just change over here. Light randomization. So it won't do too much crazy. Then we have like this medium. Then a heavy. And it's, it's rare that you'll get something bad out of this, yeah? Something that's gonna blow your ears out and hurt you or anything like that, but keep a limiter on there. We also have, um, uh, if you wanna go in here and set your, your MIDI controls, you've got your MIDI learn, all that stuff is in here as well. We can turn this off and on. Let's go back to this preset here and we'll start with our routing. So we have two types of routing here. We can switch between uh, series or parallel. When you are in parallel, you only have the uh, uh, option for two. Um, uh, what am I saying? You only have uh, two, two filters or three filters. So two filters in parallel and three in series, yeah? So you can see when I click between them, it gets that extra set. So these are your three filters and you can switch between them by clicking the arrow. I would have loved a drop down box. That would be nice. But so when you tap on them and these are, let's start over here at what they are. You've got a low pass, a high pass, a band pass, a notch, low shelf, high shelf, bell, and four ladders. We'll stay on our high pass for now. So you also have a, a stereo. So when we click any of these uh, next to each one of these filters, see the two circles joined together, you've got stereo. And when you hit them, you'll get a, a, a dual mono. And these can be turned on and off. Each of these filters here, so these are all analog filters, they all have a on off switch. So you can turn them off even when you go back into stereo. They've got one there. And you can turn off and mix and match. So completely up to you how that works. Let's give this one a bell. Now, before we get into 
Nice, hear that? Now, before we get into modulation, each of these have a frequency. So let's uh, turn these off for now. And we'll focus on this high pass. Or we'll go to a low pass, actually. Right, so we've got total control over our filters and our resonance. And of course, down here, we have a filter gain. Now you can change this between 12 dB, 24, 6. So you've got your options there. Input gain over here. In fact, let's uh, bring this back. Oh, we had a crash. Don't. Too much latency. Nice. <laughs> so we're in our default now. Let's start here at our default. And we'll mess around with this filter here. Just so you can hear what's going on. Give it some resonance. Okay, over to the end here, we've got a dry and wet mix. We have a wet output and a, a, a normal output. So we can just put out the wet, turn that up. We've got our output, normal output over here. Let's talk modulation. Okay, so to activate modulation, hit a plus button, bang, and you will get offered these slots for modulation. You have LFOs, random, envelopes, envelope follower, 2D LFO, uh, 2D random, 2D dy dynamical, is that he said? <laughs> Systems, 3D motion, macro. Let's just throw in a simple LFO. And then you get all these options. So you sine, cosine, triangle. So a lot, lot to choose from. Let's pick a simple sine. And that you can see is already moving and ready to go and ready to be sent somewhere. How do we send things places? Look for this little button over here and all of these will become active and able for you to send once you see this screen. I can drag anywhere here and start adding or subtracting We can bring in these as well now. So I can actually control this. You can pretty much send these to anywhere. I can control these turning on and off. So you can even do things like that. Once we've got some modulation happening, so over here, we can control, of course, the BPM type. We can control the divisions. We can decide from here if we want to change this to a triangle, a ramp. So once you've locked it in, you're not stuck with it, you can change it. We are currently set to sync and we can change that also to Hertz. So let's put sync back on. You can bin this. So let's create another one over here. Let's just create a, a random envelope, ADSR. We'll send this. Let's bring in the rest of these. So we can go and do all of that stuff. We can send whatever we want anywhere we like, you know, so it's nice and easy to do all this. Let's uh, add something else in here. I'm just, 
randomly doing some stuff. We'll do another LFO just for fun. We can also control these from down here with our frequency and resonance. So you can flick between these and you can see I can control from down here, this knob here. We can delete any of these at any time. So I'm gonna re remove this ADSR and that is now gone. can add a new one from down here as well. We can turn on sample and hold, and this will put across all of uh, everything that's in here, change all of these to sample and hold. So you can auto automatically control sample and hold from here. You've got a sample and hold global modulation. Pretty standard stuff if you've used um, the, the Quantum Series B4. I'm not gonna go through all of this today because I recommend you go and check out the other shows that I have done. I will scatter them throughout this show. Look for the pinned comments up the top. I reckon we go through some presets and that should uh, get us through today because there's a hell of a lot of them. Let's start off. So we'll just use the arrows here to go through. I'll turn this up and um, shut up.
Okay, so let's introduce a little bit of noise in here. We've got this little sound going over here, but I also have running here uh, noises. We're gonna just bring this in because this works really good with drones and stuff like that also. And I also want to point out here, let's go down and bring in some presets from uh, Data Broth. So the beautiful thing about this using it with a drone or something that's, you know, uh, like a soundscape, you can build up some rhythmic stuff going on with these filters. few other controls I missed uh, talking about here. So we can control the, the way the values move, so either jumping around or smoothly moving around. You also see here these 3D motion uh, modulations. These are used for the iPad. So you've got an acceleration, orientation and rotation, which involves you picking up and moving around your iPad to get modulation there. So that's a really cool feature. We also have these like 2D attractors and you can use an XY pad for these. So we could send this to a, a resonator. Send this one to the resonator over here. Let's go in and change a few more of these presets in here. We'll lower this down. And we can see here this 2D macro one where you have the option to add an XY pad. That's nice. Now we've got rhythm to our melody. As I said, there's a huge amount of presets, especially in the explore section. And this last one here, Zashin. When you are in, when you've changed your routing from series to parallel, you'll notice you've only got two filters to play with, but you can control the levels from here as well too. So that is GSDSP's Quantum Filter. Pretty incredible stuff. And I challenge anyone to find a better modulation system on iOS. Their Quantum Series and modulation is just the best bar none. It is $9.99 USD on iOS. It is $19.99 for Mac 
and PC, and it's a winner again from me. Are you enjoying the content here on the channel? Please, if you are, hit the like, do the subscribe, and ring the bell. It really does matter. And if you'd like to help out in other ways, you can become a member or a Patreon where every weekend for a dollar a month, I master your music. Or if you want to enter for some of the apps that we do on the show for giveaways on Patreon, you can do that also for $5 a month. All right, time to hit the road. Remember, do the things that make you happy. Mistakes make you better and we'll all rise together. Let's oge. Oge. 